So hi there. Hi. 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 Jack and Kenny. Where, where are we now? We are in Ndola, yeah? We are in Ndola, yes. At the Zambia International Trade Fair. We are exhibiting the supermoto and the Philips stuff. What, what supermoto? Supermoto is an eco-friendly fuel made from 100% sawdust. Oh, fantastic. And it's used in this stove? Yes, it's so. used in the stoves, the Bahamas. Philips stoves. Bahamas Philips stoves. It's actually... We actually use them in replace of charcoal. That's one of the most key, key energy absorbents in... Uh, Stop charcoal, it says here. Yeah. It's so this is a traditional stove when in Baola. Yes, this is a traditional, this is a typical family in Zambia using charcoal. So we are telling them with imaging cooking solution, stop using charcoal. We do not want them to use charcoal, we want them to use the super motor. Why don't you want them to use charcoal? Charcoal is clearing up all our forests, it's finishing up all our forests, it's encouraging deforestation mm. and we're telling them to stay away from that charcoal and move the move into the and, supermoto. And right now they think that charcoal is cheap to consume but they don't really know that this is expensive. Exactly. Cheap is expensive, yes. And supermoto is cheaper. Supermoto, supermoto is, cheaper, is extremely yes. cheap. And how is it made? You have these uh, jars here. Yes. So initially, initially this is the state the sawdust is collected. That's the first step. When you collect the sawdust, it's in this format. So when it's in this format, it's called step one, that's collection. So after we collect the sawdust, it's sieved. It's sieved, then we have something of this sort. This is sieved sawdust and it's already dried of all the moist moisture content. We only leave a small percentage to allow the compaction to complete, to have the super motor. You see, so we've got the first collection, then the second and the third. And what about the last jar here? The last jar here, this is the, the remains after the super motor has been used. This is very good for the soil, it will enrich the soil. So it's actually recyclable. Nothing is wasted with the super motor. Everything you use, you can actually use it to enrich the soil. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. That's great. It is. I'll zoom in on the impact statement here. And what do we see here? Well, we see that for every 10,000 stoves, yes. we bring in almost 2 million kwacha to the government in VAT oh, and course. revenue. We bring Indeed. in, uh, we generate 14,600 megawatt hours. Of course, we do. Of renewable energy. Uh -huh. We save 60,000 tons of Miombo forest. Oh, Miombo forest. 40,000 tons of CO2 emissions. Yes. Maybe uh, even more. Even more. And health is better. Health is better. Than is, uh, yes, it decreases completely. 50,000 people benefit and oh, yes. people save 4 million hours. Yes. That's a yes in, two, in the time spent in cooking. You see? That's so we're actually talking about charcoal itself. It's bad actually for the Zambian government because that market is unregulated. So we're simply talking about no taxes going to the government. And with the supermoto, you buy the supermoto on the stuff. There's actually VAT that is paid to the government. So hence, we're creating more revenue for the government. It's the best way to go for a farm with the supermoto. You're actually helping the country as well. Thanks so much, Kenny. Thank you.